In the race for the Republican presidential nomination, we have a new CBS News poll out tonight. It finds essentially a three-way tie. Newt Gingrich and Mitt Romney with 20% each, and almost as many GOP primary voters, 19%, who would like to see someone else get into the race. We have two reports. First, Dean Reynolds in Iowa, where Newt Gingrich is facing sharply hostile advertising. Dean? Scott, under relentless attack from rival campaigns and unaffiliated groups, Newt Gingrich is asking for help. If you see one of these candidates who's running negative ads, ask them to stop it. Just look them in the eye and say, it's unworthy of Iowa and it's unworthy of America. Newt has more baggage than the airlines. The Iowa airwaves are full of attacks, the vast majority on the former speaker whose past positions and statements are being used against him in ways he calls reprehensible. He's demonstrating himself to be the very essence of the Washington insiders. The most pointed and personal come from super PACs. And Newt is the only speaker in history to be reprimanded. Political action committees, which can spend unlimited money to further a point of view without technically working for any candidate. Ron Paul and Rick Perry are attacking Gingrich in their ads, but Gingrich appeared most upset with Mitt Romney whose campaign and the Restore Our Future Super PAC are spending nearly a million dollars this week on attack ads in Iowa's six TV markets. He appears unable to transform or even govern himself. Today, a clearly exasperated Gingrich fired back. I don't object to being outspent. I object to lies. He said those behind the attacks are disgraceful and insulting, and he suggested Romney is too. We gotta understand these are his people, running his ads, doing his dirty work, while he pretends to be above it. Do they work? In the short run, they work, sure. Unanswered negative ads work in the short run. Unfortunately for Gingrich, Scott, with two weeks to go before the caucuses, the short run is the only run there is. Dean, thanks very much.